True Gossamer, a wingless fairy tale, written by Essie Page and illustrated by Bonnie Bishop. Wings are the pride of every fairy. No hawk can swoop faster than a fairy in flight. No hummingbird flickers brighter. But Gossamer was born without wings, the only fairy in Evergloss Forest who couldn't fly. While the other fairies played tag with the summer dragonflies, she watched from the dandelion shadows. Gossamer wanted no one pitying the ugly bareness of her back. If only I was a true fairy, she sighed. Without wings, I might as well be a slug. R -r rubbish A toad popped its head out of a puddle near Gossamer's feet. Wings don't make a fairy real, the toad said, any more than slime makes a slug. Then what does, Gossamer demanded. You already know the answer, the toad replied. You just haven't asked yourself the right question. As autumn turned the forest amber, Gossamer still hadn't found the right question. That warty toad was wrong, she said. Envy filled her as she watched falling leaves flutter like twirling wings. I'm nothing without wings. Ow! Gossamer glared at the snowy owl who had tossed an acorn at her head. What was that for, she asked. If you don't like the way you are, the owl hooted, catch a falling star. What good is a star that can't fly, Gossamer wondered. Every falling star holds a wish, the owl said. One will fall over Merc Moon Pond at midnight. If you catch it before the last spark of magic drowns, the wish will be yours. I can catch a star, Gossamer said. Merc Moon Pond was full of tall cattails and hungry salamanders, but Gossamer would risk anything for wings. All day, she gathered unicorn hair and oak bark to build a gondola. As the moon rose over the pond, she set off in search of the falling star. So quiet was her passing that no ripples broke the water surface. At exactly midnight, a shining ray crashed into the pond's heart. Gossamer plunged her hand in and grabbed the golden light just before it dissolved. Only a tiny ember remained, but its magic was too small for wishing now. The fallen star would need time to glow bright again. Suddenly, water flooded her gondola as a scarlet salamander slammed a paw board. Funny bug, it hissed. I like damselflies better, but you'll make a sweet snack. Gossamer lassoed the salamander's neck with a unicorn strand. I'm not a bug, I'm a fairy, she said proudly, and we don't taste nice. Commanding the salamander to take her ashore, Gossamer returned home with her secret. She hid the tiny star in a locket to gather warmth from her heartbeat. When the magic was ready, she would surprise everyone with the strongest, swiftest wings. Winter fell over Evergloss Forest, and every fairy took refuge in the great rowan tree. With each falling snowflake, the star shined just a little bit brighter against Gossamer's heart. Soon, Gossamer whispered, I'll show everyone. One night, Gossamer woke to a thunderous crack. A blizzard blasted the great rowan tree, shattering its trunk. Fairies whirled and crashed to the forest floor as frosty gusts caught their wings like kites. Only wingless Gossamer could walk against the icy wind and grab their hands. Her back held strong as she moved through the storm 
and pulled every fairy inside the broken tree. But she could not protect them from wild gusts that might still snap their wings. Gossamer opened the locket and stared deep into the star's glow. What use are wings if I must fly alone, she asked. Gossamer realized that she had found the right question at last. Courage to make a wish bigger than her own dream made her a true fairy, not flimsy wings that couldn't save her friends. Heal my home, Gossamer wished. Make our tree stand tall and true forever. The star exploded. Splinters spun as her wish restored the great rowan tree. As the last ray faded, every fairy marveled at Gossamer. The girl who loved them more than flying in the wide blueness of the sky. When spring came, the fairies prepared to flit away and warm their wings under fresh sunbeams. Gossamer couldn't help but stare sadly at the gleaming flicker that would never be hers. She was just about to sigh when Lady Slipper and Morning Glory seized her hands. Dew glittered like a thousand wishing stars on every leaf as the three fairies glided together over the forest. Why are you doing this? Gossamer asked. Don't you know already? They asked. We are your wings. Wingless Gossamer flew. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this story, paperback and ebook versions are available for purchase on Amazon.